Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Isaac Painter and I'm a DP based here in mid-Michigan. Today I'm going to be breaking down some of my recent videos and my favorite shots from recent videos of just how I lit them and kind of the behind the scenes goings on of how I put these videos together um, and make them look the way they do. So if you want to learn about how I light my videos uh, and just get a nice cinematic look, make sure you stick around. <laughs> Alrighty, so I recently have been doing a lot of content on backlighting. If you follow me on Instagram, you know that for a fact that like my last 10 posts or six posts have been like about backlighting or have been backlit. Uh, so today I'm gonna be breaking down some of my shots that are backlit. So right here I have three screen grabs in um, Photoshop and I'm just gonna be drawing on these to show you guys uh, what I really did. So let's jump into this first image right here. Um, this is one of my favorite screen grabs, I think, ever. Uh, it's one of my favorite shots I've really gotten in a long time. So to break this down, um, I shot this around, I believe it was 8 o'clock. Uh, and because it's almost summer, the sun sets, I think, around 8.30 here in mid-Michigan. And the sun was coming perfectly through our back sliding glass window. And it just looked really good. And I got this sudden rush of inspiration. And that is the key light for this uh, shot. So that's where like down here, you get this nice glow um, on the ribbon. That is all from the sun, all of this on, uh, you know, outlining the hands and acting as kind of like a hair light. Um, and these nice shadows on the wall, which I really like as well. Uh, those are all just, that's all just from the sun. Um, so a lot of this really just came down to positioning. Uh, I knew I wanted to backlight it because I knew that would be the most flattering way to um, present the subject. And uh, that just really worked out super well. But the thing that really brought this shot to life for me is I recently got a 5-in-1 reflector and I don't know why I waited so long, long to get one because it really has been super helpful. So because it was kind of golden hour and the light was really warm, I used the gold bounce on my reflector and had that just off on, like directly on the side of the subject. So as you see like on the hand here, all of these areas are really nice, warm and golden. All of that nice bounce um, on the hands and stuff is coming from the gold side reflector. So basically that's it for this image. I did shoot all these images on this lens right here. This is the Olympus 50 millimeter f1.8. It's the OM mount and I believe this was made about 40 years ago. So it's a really old lens uh, and I love this lens. As you can see in this image, it produces some really nice bokeh. It has a very, um, for lack of a better word, cinematic feel to it uh, because it's it's an imperfect image, which I really prefer to uh, a spherical lenses like the one I'm shooting on right now. Uh, just gives more life and it, it makes the, the image feel a little more lived in and um, really real to life. So I did shoot that on this lens with my Fujifilm X-H1 in Eterna color profile and then I spent a while color grading this in DaVinci Resolve. Uh, but really that's how I lit this shot. Um, the other ones are from the same video, these other screen grabs. So let me hop over to those right now. Uh, the second shot here, this one is in the basically the exact same spot. It's a little different framing. Uh, but because I chose to backlight this, um, this like steam from this uh, iron right here is like really showing up. So if I would have chose to front light this, that would not have shown up well because the background would have been dark and there would have been no light um, shooting through that mist. Uh, so all of this outline right here of this mist, which adds really nice like atmosphere to this shot uh, and also adds as uh, just kind of an element of the framing of the shot would not have been there unless I um, chose to backlight it, which I did. So uh, again, these all of these outline parts, you know, on the arms here, on the iron itself, on the walls, you get the nice shadows again. All of that is just from the sun, the sun's a key light. Uh, at this point, I was not using the golden bounce. This was just completely backlit. Just had to get the position right, and I really was happy with how this one came out as well. So for the last shot, this is again from the same video. This one is a little different position. Um, the sun was a little bit lower in the sky at this point. Uh, so I chose to kind of put the main subject, this sewing machine, on a little more of the left third of the screen uh, opposed to just doing it centered because I feel like everyone 
just puts their subject center and frame and it gets kind of boring after a while. So again, this is backlight. I believe I was using the white bounce on my reflector on this one. So you can see this little edge here uh, and that's, that's from the bounce. And then again, we still have the nice shadows on the wall that also act as a leading line. Um, and then all of this illumination right here on the hand is actually from the sewing machine lights. So that's just the practical light there. Uh, and then all of this outline on the sewing machine itself is again just from the sun. Um, that's all just from the sun coming in through right here through that sliding glass door that we have in our kitchen. Alrighty guys, so that's it for this one. I hope you enjoyed this breakdown of the lighting on these shots and just how I made these uh, scenes kind of come to life. If you did, please like this video, comment below if you want to see more videos like this and more uh, lighting tutorials uh, and stuff on editing. Just let me know what you guys want to see, what you're interested in, and what ultimately would help you out as a creative. Uh, let me know if you want to see a video on this vintage lens that I shot all this stuff with. It is a really awesome lens and I think you guys would enjoy uh, using it yourself. Um, but with that being said, uh, I'll just ask you to subscribe if you aren't already. Like the video, comment, do all the things I ask you to do. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.